Hello everyone, today I am going to bring you in another remodeling. This time it's my closet. This closet usually I use it for storing blankets, towels, and lately it's been a closet for everything what I find in my way, I just put it here. So it is time now to update this closet. I'm going to try I'm gonna try to organize it the best that I can. I'm gonna be painting the walls, gonna be removing the shelf and adding new ones. They're already cut uh, downstairs. Also, I'm gonna be trying to do something with the floor. I will be showing you the floor, how it is. It's not finished floors. So I'm gonna try to do something with that too. And I'm just gonna try to get some baskets to organize a little bit more better here in this closet. And then I will be showing you every single step that I have to do. Okay, so let's get ready and start taking everything. As you guys can see, I already have everything out. Now I'm gonna be start removing all the shelf. And as soon as the, all the shelf have, are done, I'm going to be preparing these walls to be painted. I am so happy to start this new project. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell so you will receive notifications as soon as that the video is on. This is the floor that I was talking about. As you guys can see, it is not finished. It only has the plywood. So it looks like um, it has a lot of staples on it. It used to be a carpet long time ago because they, they still have some residues there. So I will be removing all those things. Also, I'm gonna be removing uh, all the things that I have left in the walls. After we are done removing everything from our walls, we are going to be preparing our walls to be painted. So that will be filling any holes, any cracks that we have in our walls. We are going to be fixing it with a compound. Also, if you have any flaking paints, just remove them and with a little bit of compound that will help us to cover those cracks that we don't want to have in our walls. Let's move now to our floors. Uh, we are going to be removing everything that we have in our floors, any staples, uh, nails. Uh, we do have some leftover um, carpet on it, so we're going to be removing that. I'm going to um, try to leave uh, the most smooth that I can. I have a lot of fun removing these tables. I don't know you guys, but it feels so good. The satisfaction 
a vini vini all those things and it started from a long time ago i remember when i started putting things there i was so upset with this floor but now that i am doing something it feels so good and i feel so happy that i was able to do this in our home I did remove almost all of them, the ones that they were really hard to um, take them out. I just pushed them down with a hammer, but uh, um, we did take them almost all out. Now I am going to be fixing the walls. I know it feels that I am jumping from one place to another one, but the floor now is clean. I'm just going to be covering all the holes, all the grabs that I have in the walls, and I'm going to let it dry overnight. So this is the last thing that I will do it for today. This project took me a couple of days. Um, it is because it has a lot of steps so I just want to prepare really good our walls uh, so I can put the paint on it and I can have the result that I that I wanted for the small holes we're gonna be using this spackling it is pink when you put it in the wall but it is dry it becomes white and for the big holes or any crack that you have you will be using um, a compound this compound is dust control so it will help you not to have uh, too much dust as I said before um, adding the compound it feels like you're icing a cake just do it little by little and just try to leave the most smooth that you can but it is okay if you feel that it's any um, imperfection in there. We're gonna be sanding, so it is okay. And that will be just for today. Tomorrow we're gonna be um, sanding, so get ready. It is already the next day, it is sanding day, so it is time to leave our wall smooth. And if you need to put another extra coat of compound, do it. I actually did it and that was the only thing that I did it for this day. I added another coat of compound and I let it dry overnight. So now it's time to paint. The color that we're gonna be using is black bamboo from Burr. Uh, it has an eggshell finish. Uh, and we picked this color. We actually tried a couple of samples, but we really like this color. I know it will look dark, but this closet is already dark, doesn't have any window or anything that give us um, more light um, so this is the plan so we'll see how it goes
I was so careful painting the breaker box, but you see what I did at the end. The first coat is finally done. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna be adding the second coat. Today it's floor day. So this is the floor that I'm gonna be using. It is a phone. It looks like a wood and it is really easy to cut so this is the item that I'm going to be using for my floors. To make it easy for me, I am going to be doing a pattern. I am going to be taking measurements and jumping all those measurements to my piece of paper and then I will be cutting the pattern that I needed and then I will be transferring to my phone. As you guys can see, it was perfect. It was the measurement that I needed. It was the cut that I needed. Now I'm gonna be doing the same thing from this side. This one I really have to do more cuts, but I know it will work uh, if I take the right measurements. I did a couple of mistakes but it came out so good I really like it it looks like wood if you don't want to miss the second part of my update don't forget to subscribe if you like this video please give a thumbs up don't forget to share and I see you in the second part thank you for watching bye bye